All right, so random number generators are really important. Here we're going to open up the Java console or J shell inside of IntelliJ. And we're going to import the random class. So I've imported it inside of J shell, which is inside of IntelliJ in this case. And now I'm going to create a random object called my random object. It's of new random. Okay, like that. So new random class instantiated into an object, my random object. And now I'm going to create an integer called my random value using my random object to output an integer using the next int method. And I'm going to bound it so it doesn't exceed a certain value. Okay, let's make that value 2. So it can't go past two. In fact, it'll just give you zero and one. And I'm going to run using that triangle right there, the text that's in J shell. So I can see that I generate zero and one, zero and one, zero and one, but never two every time I run. So randomly choosing between zero and one. Now I change the bound to three. And so now I can get zero, one, and two as values. Now let's create a constant. So final int, I'm going to capitalize the variable name that's actually a constant, max value, make that a value 10. I'm going to put the bound in here. And you'll see that as I run, I get values 0 and 8 and 6. So somewhere between 0 and 10, but not 10. Okay. And now let's make a conditional statement that looks at that random value. I'm going to print something out when that random value is equal to five. Okay. So here we go. So I'm going to print out, wow, five like that. Anytime five is found is a random number. Okay. Here we go. Run seven. And there we go. I got a five. I ran it. It worked. Bingo.